What is something that people want to do, but you did it and didn't like it or found it overrated? Any sort of group sex. When you're a straight guy, the dream tends to be a threesome with two girls. However, a lot of the time someone ends up feeling neglected or comes off as selfish. Unication, a lot of extra navigating to keep everyone happy. And plenty of times it means breaking the rhythm and potentially ruining someone's enjoyment just to make sure the others involved are good. The more people, the less time spent enjoying what's going on. Mind you, it can be fun, but it takes work and a lot of people fail to understand that. Weed. I support legalization. I personally find the recreational experience overrated I cannot speak on. Medicinal purposes. Eagleized in my city, and we had planned the day doing karaoke. A majority of the group was more. Obsessed going outside for smoke breaks, weed not cigarettes, and then talking about getting being. Hi. Honestly. I think the karaoke was more fun, and would have been more fun at least to me. The point of the party lol if they were more present for actual conversation and jokes. Threesons. I have no doubt that some people would do love them, but honestly, I've had several and I never enjoyed them very much. In all fairness, I mostly did it for the wrong reasons, and that would be why I didn't enjoy it much. That had this one roommate duo I used to see sometimes, and that was not a one-time deal like the others. But I still didn't enjoy it that much, to many things happening. I'm confused and uncertain. Can't really relax. Etc. It's a personal preference thing of course. Unpopular opinion skiing or snowboarding. Why time and carry your stuff around or go find a locker etc. And too many children just hanging out towards the bottom of the mountain in the middle waiting to be taken out by someone who loses control. Every time I've gone I see someone get injured. Usually someone underage walking across the mountain at the bottom of it or just chilling in the middle. Can't and see this. Winning or inheriting a large sum of money. You can't keep it a secret. Almost every interaction with people you know it's brought up. If it's not brought up you're always waiting for it. Strangers that have no business knowing who you are find you. This sometimes make you where you're a target. You didn't make the money. You either don't think about it and blow it or worry you will blow it. And regret how you did it. Travel. The awful experience. Physical pain and awful customer service. Our flying makes the entire trip a stressful ball of agony. I've never went a single place that was worth the hassle, the discomfort and price of the flight. Not to mention you can learn about almost anything. Anywhere on the internet now, which makes going to new places a lot less fun if you feel like you already know a lot about it. Sex. It's honestly nowhere near as good as people make it out to be. IP after my prior one ended is because I just don't want to feel like I have to have sex with someone because that's an extremely important part of relationships to most people and I'd rather just not. Threesomes. I've been lucky enough to experience this for times and it never goes well. E I had just suck at them. But either it feels super unnatural as people are trading off positions, or someone ends up crying either the girlfriend as she regrets sharing with another woman afterwards, or myself as I realize how crappy I am at sex. As a kid, laser tag, it looks so awesome and fun. But when you're 10 and you're playing against teenagers or sometimes even young adults, it's not as fun especially when they target you for easy points. I enjoyed it a little more when I was 12 and went out with friends my same age. But yeah, did not enjoy that first playthrough at all. See the Mona Lisa. It's a wee painting in a room that is packed with everyone in cattle pens. I couldn't even get near it. There are so many other amazing things to see in the Louvre, and lots of people just rush to see the Mona Lisa and miss everything else. I spent about five hours in it, and still want to go back to see the rest. Anal. Some people treat it like the hottest thing ever, or a touchstone as to how much a woman is into them dot dot. In fact I found it about as sexy and stimulating as masturbating into a full doggy do bag while making an okay sign with my thumb and forefinger at the mouth of the bag as the only source of friction. Sex on the beach, because sand. Sex on a waterbed. It's too hard to get leverage. Sex in the car. There's no room. 
sex clubs. Most people who frequent those aren't the type you want to have sex with. I like to fuck in a normal bed, or on a sofa, or the floor, or a table, or on a blanket in the grass. Traveling, flight not feelings mems, and posts about being a victim of security treatment that everyone has to go though, or how an airline did something to them without the full story is all a bit too much. Very narcissistic. Anything touristy that I can't research ahead of time, if someone says, you gotta go check out, I pause, google it, and say that might be fun, or no thanks. Also, doing things just because you don't want someone else to feel bad if you didn't. Yeah, anything like that. Skydiving, everyone talks about the adrenaline rush and the freedom of flying, but no one mentions the existential crisis you have at 10,000 feet, or the unflattering g-force face you get. It's like paying a fortune to find out if you can scream and pray in the same breath. Going to one of the eight wonders of the world. It was hot. I was sweaty, and there was no shade. I was legitimately more excited about the giant iguana I spotted while there. My husband once said I bet you'd think the clouds in heaven are too soft. He's not wrong. Showering together sounds romantic. But listen, when you have one shower head, only person is going to be getting hot water. The other one stands there freezing, and I can give you to guesses which one of us is the one standing there freezing. Motor home camping lots of work. Lots of people close by making those. K.O. moved us twice and had no wheelchair accessible showers or accessible public restrooms. DV we had a power wheelchair and they tried to move us a third time on soft soil. I've gone to a loud bar once. I kind of get the appeal. You're there to find friends and sometimes family to hang with. But for the large part, it's overrated. It's just loud. People tend to be obnoxious and notioning through crowds is a pain. Went to grad school. Unless you're getting a terminal master's you absolutely need to work in your field. It's a great way to be poor and ruin your mental health. And honestly, having a PhD makes finding a non-academic job more difficult. Took a trip to Nashville. I'd only heard great things but it's the only trip I've ever left early. It was too hot and there was a concert or music festival going on. So the restaurants were all packed and anything touristy was overpriced. Making a grilled cheese sandwich with mayo instead of butter. So many people swore it was better. So much better than with butter. Those people have been removed from my contacts list. It was a fucking travesty. Smoking, tried it multiple times including cigarettes, cigars and weed. Didn't like any of them. Maybe it's because I don't have an addictive personality, but I just found all of them to be highly overrated. Disney parks probably because we went at the busiest times. Kids were probably too young to enjoy it too. They talk more about their time at Dollywood and Disney because they could do more rides there. It if it fits here. But dating... I tried all my adult life 18 to now, 26 to find someone worthy of my time and it was all for nothing. It's so overrated, IMO. Fuck that. I'm gonna focus on myself by now. Sound bath. I thought it was incredibly boring and proceeded to read the ingredients list on a bottle of hand. Sanitizer over and over again until it was done. Beautiful room they had us in though. Bars too loud and the drinks are stupidly expensive. I'd rather grab a few six-packs with some friends and hang out in the backyard. Much more relaxed environment. Bars can get a bit pretentious. Staying at a fancy resort in Cancun. I hated being waited on like that constantly. Having to be so reliant on people. I'd rather serve myself by hiking a mile to a creek for water. Going to a professional football game. Food and drinks are expensive long lines. And if you live where I do, it's also cold. Prefer to be on my couch at home with friends. Jet skis dot dot. You just bang your balls on the sea every wave. I expected it to be like motorcycling on water. It sucked. It hurt and cast away too much. Being in relationship as a people wish they had the teen love, but it absolutely wasted my childhood and I grew up way too early. Eat sushi. Sushi I don't like the seaweed. Or raw fish very much. But my fellow Americans act like it's a cultural phenomenon. Champagne. 
This stuff is 100% nasty and drunken by people with no taste and solely out of vanity. You can't prove me wrong. Gambling. I'm not good at cards and slot machines are over in an instant and your money is just gone. I don't get the appeal. Clubbing. I went clubbing from the ages of 16 until 21 and by the time I was legal drinking age I had no interest in it lol. Axe throwing. Smash rooms. It's fun for the first few minutes and then you're just hanging out waiting for time to end. Go to NYC on New Year's Eve. To crowded. Cold. You have to wait all day if you want a good spot. Totally not worth it. Lol ziplining. That episode of South Park was completely true. After the first one. All the other ones just feel. Meh. Riding in a gyrosphere ride it's just like a roller coaster. Expect it pulls from different directions. Nothing new. Times Square at New Year's. Did it at 23 and will never even come close to doing it again. So overrated. Joined FB. Lasted the three years of my grad program, quit ten years ago, and will never return, ever. Paintball. Those little fuckers hurt. And then you have the mess to clean up. No thanks. Men of Reddit. Listen to me now, anal is super overrated. I don't understand the hype. Become parents. Not everyone is meant for the true self-sacrifice that kids deserve. Travelling. As in staying in hostels and living from a backpack style. Nope. Skiing seemed like a really burdensome and expensive way to break a limb. First person shooter games. Mainly because they give me motion sickness. Moving to Germany. Just wasn't for me. I'm to American lol. Threesomes. Definitely overrated. I was young and dumb. Eat an authentic Italian pasta. It tasted normal for me. 